What if Goten and Trunks was locked inside of the Hyperbolic Time Chamber Part 2? Our story takes off with Frieza being revived as he wished to end the Saiyans. As three months pass, he would still go to Earth and train. He would come to Earth as this time, Goten and Trunks would be able to handle Golden Frieza. Now obviously with some difficulty, but I think that with them together, they can obviously beat him. Goku and Vegeta would stay when trained with Whis because they do see that Goten and Trunks are handling Frieza and they know that they can do it. Now, Goten and Trunks would be training with Whis as together, making all four of them stronger and Goku and Vegeta would be able to catch up to their sons. So yes, Frieza's dead by the way. As Universe 6 Stars happens, it would just end faster and easier considering the team is much stronger anyways. So it ends for a hit and the Universe 6, but Beerus still wishes for Planet Earth for Champa and Goku still befriends Zeno as then future Trunks was running for his life as he was panting hard. As he was able to survive going to the past, he would explain that they've all found him, the same events happen the exact same. As a man appears from the time portal, he looked like Goku, but just with black clothing on. As current Goku fought this strange man to a stalemate. As the events all happened the same with this Goku black arc as it was so confusing with Zamasu, Beerus Hakai's him, they were figuring out like who's who, things like that. Until Trunks is ready to finally go into the future. Goku and Vegeta go with Trunks. Now I think that present Goten and Trunks would tag along and they would arrive with them and fight the strange man. As he would finally say who he truly was. He was Goten Black, shocking them all. As they would begin fighting, Vegeta would fight against Goten Black in Super Saiyan Blue, and he would overpower him. Now, Goten Black does have Zamasu, who would still join him, as Goten Black would then use Super Saiyan 4. Alongside the potential that that character has is scary. So, his potential was busted, as they would easily overpower all of them. As this time, they wouldn't need to escape, as remember current Goten and Trunks, they would actually do the fusion dance, and they would actually be able to defeat the, the Goten Black and Zamasu at the same time. Since Zamasu was weak anyway, he wasn't really too much of a powerhouse, like Super Saiyan 2 Goku was able to beat him. Uh, especially with a fusion, Super Saiyan 4 or Super Saiyan God, that it wouldn't be much of a chance. Now Goten Black would be the only one that would be an issue. And this also means that there is no, uh, uh, there's no earring. So, Goten Black and Zamasu cannot do a fusion. Uh, they cannot do the Batara fusion because Goten Black does not have a Batara earring. Remember, when Zamasu took over Goku, and just like that, he actually killed Goku who was in Zamasu's body and he took the earring back. Well, Goten Black does not have the earring. So that's the reason why. Um, and if they, even if they did, then Goku and Vegeta can also fuse as well into Vegito, and Merge Zamasu wouldn't be able to even touch them at all anyway. So there's no way that they can truly defeat them, as you would have one Super Saiyan 4 or Super Saiyan God and another Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. So that's the reason why. So they would actually do the fusion dance and they would turn into a Super Saiyan God. They would be able to defeat Goten Black. As for Zamasu, he would be defeated by Trunks, but he would be destroyed, but he would still surround the universe as Goku would still use the Zeno button, resulting in Zamasu being completely erased along with the timeline, which Goku would still grab the future Zeno and bring it to current Zeno, so current Zeno can have a best friend. Now, life would carry on, Goten and Trunks would now face the biggest struggle of their lives, and it was high school, yeah. Chi Chi and Bulma agreed uh, the two boys can't be brainless idiots, besides, they need to do school anyways, so they can be smart and not just fools. Now, Bulma, I will say this, would not worry as much, as Trunks was naturally smart anyways, and she isn't like Chi Chi, who's always pressuring studies over everything. So, Bulma would, Bulma can just easily hire the most smartest teachers and sciences and everything, because she's like, Bulma is technically one of the most richest people in the world, so she can easily do that, owning Capsule Corp. So, but Chi Chi, on the other hand, would want to enroll him in a high school, enroll him, end a story, he needs to go. Now, Trunks would tell no to Bulma, and he would actually want to go with Goten so they can do high school together. As, remember, they're still, you know, they're almost like brothers, pretty much, if they could. Uh, so they're still super close to 
one another and they would go to high school. Now, this is where a lot of little goofy adventures would happen as they try to fit into high school in terms of similar to how Gohan did when he went into high school. Gohan was obviously out of place and he excelled in sports and he kind of over excelled in it. Uh, he had to deal with a couple of bullies and stuff like that. I feel like the same thing would happen and the two boys would actually become really popular in school considering the good looks and their fighters and they're really strong that kind of thing and also too those two guys are show-offs they they are goten is more innocent and stuff like that but they're both show-offs especially trunks so i do feel like that like cockiness and show offness would kick in and they would definitely do that now they would still be training all that would happen the same they would still be training together they would still be having fun they would join tournaments and other fun things you know they would just experience life uh now this is where a lot of things are about to change though so and i mean the tournament of power all the stuff pretty much happens the exact same with uh goku and zeno talking and then goku brings up the idea of a tournament of power and zeno obviously wants to do it so then the grand priest will go to every single universe telling them all about all the tournament of power that's going to go down everybody's freaking out goku's obviously just excited to fight strong guys same with goten too uh same with trunks vegeta's obviously pretty worried about it because of his family uh beerus is obviously terrified Whis is obviously well Whis isn't too worried because he won't get erased anyway but you know still his universe now now if we are asking for how would this go down would frieza be actually brought here i would say yes here's why majin buu would still fall asleep that would still happen yes they do have goten and trunks but goku still knows that they that if we're going up against all the 12 universes the 11 universes in total they're going to need the most powerful beings and frieza is was one of them so we just got to do it so goku would still get frieza from hell and they would still you know stuff like that obviously frieza would have some resentment towards goten and trunks because they did kind of humiliate him uh not only did goku and vegeta's sons defeat him they were monkeys at the same time and yeah that would definitely destroy frieza's pride a little bit make him go more insane than he already is so vegeta would obviously not accept it it. Trunks and Goten were obviously worried about it, but Beerus tells him that nothing's gonna happen. If Frieza even acts out a little bit, he'll destroy him himself anyway. So remember Majin Buu's still asleep. They would still have pretty much all the Z fighters. You would have Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Goten, Trunks, uh, Master Roshi, Tien, Krillin, Frieza, and Android 17. That is all 10 fighters that is needed. So, th so that's perfect. So they would do the exhibition match to where Goku would fight Topo. Uh, obviously, Goku would defeat Topo the exact same. Uh, and he would, you know, use Kyle Ken and still defeat Topo. That happens the exact same. Now, current Goku and Vegeta is actually stronger than they were the original. Not by a crazy amount, but by a little amount. The reason why is because they have their two powerful sons to train with. Goten and Trunks are actually still a little bit stronger than Goku and Vegeta. They are still stronger. At this point, they can go Super Saiyan Blue, and, and that's about it for right now. And they're actually still stronger because of their amazing potential. Now with Gohan. Gohan, remember, would still be training with Piccolo. And I do even think that Goten would also train with him as well. Because he wants his big brother to be prepared for the Tournament of Power. Now, Gohan would actually be stronger. Would he be stronger than Goku? I think if with Ultimate Gohan and Blue Goku. Now, remember, Gohan just trained with Piccolo for a little while, and he was able to actually be equal to Super Saiyan Blue without the Kaioken. What I think is that this version of Gohan is as powerful as Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku, or as powerful as a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, uh, since Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and Kaioken times 20 Goku was the equal power. So Gohan is pretty much, in, in reality, 20 times stronger. So he is actually stronger than base Blue Goku and Vegeta. Now, he is not as strong as Goten and Trunks. Goten and Trunks are pretty similar to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution um, in their Super Saiyan Blue forms, but I would say that they're still a little bit stronger than that. So imagine like a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 25. They're pretty much like that. So they're like five times stronger than a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as such. So they are still really strong, but obviously when we go into the Tournament of Power, that's not gonna really matter though, in it? And going through the Tournament of Power, most of the events would happen the same just for Universe 7. It wouldn't be as severe because you have Goten and Trunks, and you also have a full team with Gohan leading it. Obviously, Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, Goten, Trunks would probably leave the group to go fight on their own. Vegeta would be fighting Topo, now Goku would be fighting Jiren, and Goku would still 
lose. He would actually get Ultra Instinct, as even with the Spirit Bomb being amped by all 10 of the universes this time, th it wouldn't matter because Jiren is still just too strong for it. And even if he used more power, it would still overpower Goku. Now, this Goku and Ultra Instinct would actually hold up a little bit better than he actually did in the original, but he would still lose the form, and Jiren would knock him away, and he would actually be saved by Frieza, and Frieza would actually give him his energy. All that would happen the same. Now, for Goten and Trunks, they would go around and fight together. As members, they're like perfect together, fighting. Uh, they're like a perfect combination because they've been training for 30 plus years in Hyperbolic Time Chamber nonstop. So, I mean, what do you expect? Now, they would actually take on Dispo and Topo. Uh, Vegeta would then handle Topo, and Gohan and Frieza would then handle Dispo. As a matter of fact, this time, Gohan can fight Dispo perfectly fine by himself, as this Gohan is able to actually keep up with Dispo's speed. Now, it, now Goten and Trunks are going to go into the Universe 6, and now they're going to be fighting the likes of Kaba, Khalifa, and Kale. Now, Kaba would not join as Khalifa says to back out, and Goten would fight Khalifa, and Trunks would fight Kale. And then, obviously, the two would switch. As Trunks and Khalifa would actually be kind of similar. They're both like a cocky attitude and stuff like, stuff like that. And Goten and Kale is obviously more soft and gentle. So they would still be fighting back and forth until Kale goes into her legendary form, causing some issues. And then the two Saiyans would not hold back. They would go into their Super Saiyan 4 states, shocking them. And then they would do the fusion, which creates Kefla. Now that is when they would have to show their real power. They would actually use uh, their fusion dance and they would show Gotenks, who was obviously leagues above Kefla, and it would easily be able to defeat her. So there goes Kefla. Hit would still be knocked out by Jiren, and Kaba would still fall off the ring after unlocking Super Saiyan 2 and defeating that giant ball looking chick lady. I forgot her name. We're going to go to the Jiren fight. Now you have a Super Saiyan Blue Gotenks. You have a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. You have a Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Goku. Then you have Golden Frieza, Android 17, and a Ultimate Gohan. Uh, the rest would be knocked out. Now, they would all fight Jiren. Yes, they would all be fighting Jiren. Now, credited though, they are all tired after fighting over 100 plus people. So it's not like they're all going to be, you know, you know, like simple and easy. Jiren would actually have to use his full power, not Limit Breaker, and he would actually be able to defeat them. He would knock out Gohan, and he would knock out alongside Vegeta and the others, and Gotenks would soon defuse, and Jiren would knock those two out, leaving Goku, Android 17, and Frieza. Now, Goku would unlock Master Ultra Instinct in this state, and he would actually be stronger than he was before. He would actually be able to defeat Jiren, up until he loses the form because of the like the time limit and then android 17 alongside golden frieza or normal frieza would be able to help goku to feature in the exact same way so there we go the tournament of power has ended and i've obviously let's just say that android 17 would still be get the wish or even no matter what he would still wish for all 12 universes to be brought back all peace was restored zeno was happy that's all that matters and everybody was back and the two Saiyans would then be living their lives like normal as Earth was there with peace for now. Now that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you all for watching. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers and I will talk to you all later. <laughs>